Now while you're down here at the bottom, go ahead and change that hydraulic tensioner pulley. I took the tensioner off so the pulley is free now. Now take your new tensioner. It's bolted tight and you can see that the pulley will move when that tensioner pushes up on it. Now always check, make sure your timing marks are still on each of the pulleys. And replace your top pulley. Now whenever you're doing the timing belt on these, you got to change the water pump because the water pump is underneath the timing belt. So at this point, take all the bolts off and remove the water pump. Going back to this water pump now, we took the bolts out of the water pump, but if you remember, this bracket, one of the studs sheared off, the torques end on it, but when the bracket was on there, there was just a very little bit you really couldn't get onto it, but those studs are still going to have to come out in order to get the water pump off without taking off all the cam gears. So we got a tool here for this comes in a kit like this, it's called a stud extractor kit. And you can see we've got one down here actually on that stud now, the other stud. The thing that's nice about this, it'll slip over the threads and it'll grip, grip the body part of that stud so that you won't ruin the threads. Slide it over and it goes past that, it grips the body part of the stud. Now you can see we've got those studs out and we've still got good threads on the end for our nut to cinch to. Now here, here's the other one and you can see where the end was broke off. So this tool works real good to get broken studs off. Still leaves the threads out where you can get your nut back on. Now removing that water pump, you have to take those studs out because if you'll notice, the very top edge of that water pump tucks up underneath that plate. But when those studs are out of there, you can actually pull the water pump out. The water pump actually tucks up underneath this plate right here. When you take those studs out, then it can come out and tip. Now we're ready for the new water pump. Take the water pump gasket out, the old one. Going back together, slide the gasket on. There's several pins there to get it lined up correct. If you take a pry bar, put it right behind that lever, that'll give you just a little bit of leverage getting that on there. This is a pretty tight fit. You got to fiddle it around there to get it on there right because there's several guide pins and bolts and it has to tuck up underneath that flap. Once it's right, it'll slide right into place and you're ready to bolt it down. You can use this same tool that you took the studs out with to put them back in. Water pump bolts all have 53 inch pound torque spec. Put your upper pulley in.
Installing the timing belt, it's important that the belt stays tight once you get the marks lined up. So one thing we like to do is use little plastic tie straps. Once you get the belt around one pulley, put a tie strap on it to hold it. Then you go to the other pulley and you do the same thing. That way that the teeth on that belt is going to stay right where you want them. Then once you get it all in place, you can cut those straps off. So once you get your belt around each of the pulleys, and the pulleys are on the timing marks, you take those plastic tie straps and hold it in place. You don't need to put a tie strap around the bottom on the cam. There's no hole for it to go around anyway. But as long as the bottom is on the timing mark, and both of the cams are all on their timing mark, then the cams can't move. Now we're going to put the tensioner back on. Now you can see here our timing mark is still on the crankshaft pulley. Now before you put that tensioner on, reach up there with your fingers and make sure every tooth on the belt is in a tooth on the gear. Otherwise when you release the tension, you could have one actually trapped in there and the belt wouldn't be tight. Now to release the tension on the hydraulic tensioner, you pull that pin out. That will let the plunger release and put tension up on the pulley. Now your belt's tight. Put your uh, belt guide back on. Double check all your timing marks. Make sure you're still right on the money. Once you're, all your timing marks are on place, then you can just cut these little straps out. to put this aluminum cover back on. Now you can see the end of that bolt. We still have good threads so that we can put a nut on there by using that stud extractor the way we did. Put the cover back in place on the top. Put the lower cover on. Time to put your crank pulley back on. Crank pulley, the spec is 219 newton meters or about 158 foot pounds. We start it lightly with an impact and then bring it up to torque. You lower the engine down, put the bolt back in that motor mount to hold the engine down into the mount. Put the strut mount back in. Put this bracket back on that holds the alternator in place. Put the cruise control back in place. At this point, you're ready to put your serpentine belts back on, look everything over, tighten it up, put your wheel back on, and you're done. Okay, we start it up now to check everything. Runs good.